Hey there, Tokusen Daaniki and my new co-host, Richardo Faggot, who spent half an hour trying to open up one bottle of beer. Feel it's nice. It's nice to be with all of you for the very first time. I'm after a, I guess, I think two years. I don't know. It was probably longer. Yeah, after a, a severely extended absence, I am back, and I've decided to only do visual novels for now until I do other crap. I'm not playing any other crappy games. I'm just playing visual novels. They're crappy enough. Well, it's not that crappy. I mean, look, they're 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 cute girls, and I think look, there are only two things I love in this world: fucking cat girls and anime. So I'm and alcoholism. Yeah, but I don't think they're all cat girls. That one, like, um, that one might be a goat with ears. That's also my fetish. Whatever. I'm playing Nekapar. I know it's old as crap, but I got a large list of visual novels to play for the next few months, so... Well, it's good if we play old things, because we might get the hipster crowd, and hipsters Fuck love off. vintage stuff. I like cat girls, and I wanted to play Nekapara, so I'm playing Nekapara. Because cat girls are cute, and I like cute things. Fair enough. So, now let's just get into it. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you play it, because... Um, Dest is currently MIA. The only game, later. the only game I've ever played is blackjack. I don't know how visual novels work. So if you want to make this progress, I'm going to leave it. In Thank you very rooms. much. I'm heading out now. You want me the MC, or do you want me to be the MC? Uh, I should probably be the MC because all the I random background characters I, that are I, generic. I feel like MC is going to be driven through a lot of terrible things. Is this the guy? You you are Kasho. How do you pronounce that? Word? Fuck that! It's Cashew. You're Cashew. I will be Cashew. It makes sense, really. Fucking. Nice fucking. Later. That's all the fucking boxes. I wipe the sweat off my forehead with an arm. I'll be your inner monologue. You just talk the words. Okay. As the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April, and only the beginning of spring, today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's been a good day for a new start. That sounds like something a cashew would say. I turned my head to look into the empty bakery, which didn't even have us Didn't have any signage yet. The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. There's also a large window which lets lots of sunlight in, like this yingling. Mulatto confirmed. I'm and finally, there were the words that display the name of the bakery, La Soleil. Instead of the French, uh, proper French article, Le, it was La Soleil, meaning the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, um, I, I guess I'll just fucking do whatever. Close enough. I softly murmured to myself. Like I'm silent. not going to properly read Cashew. I have become Cashew. Alright, fine. Fair enough. You're Cashew now. Become Cashew. I because have. from here on out, no one will tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to kill yourself. <laughs> Alright. I was going to start completely anew despite the stature of my family's name and everything that had happened up till now. Which we don't know because I'm skipping it. episode zero. I think he meant to say the stature of my name. I alone would decide my path and take responsibility for what I do. I'm your conscience. I, I'm in for a rough time. Whoa, that sounds nutty. In <laughs> Don't drink so fast. We've just started. <coughs> in exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. You can only blame yourself, Cashew. Well, uh, if I'm correct, I'm going to fuck a lot of underage cat girls. I think. This is the 18 plus version of the game. I'm so. Are they underage? Uh, let me let me better ask this. Are they underage for the standards of Japan? I don't know. Long story short, backwoods, my editor. I'm so sorry, but I'm not sorry at all. I'm not. You shouldn't have bought me this game. I'm gonna give you pointers. Still, I'm gonna give you pointers on how to make shit worse. Name your next protagonist Peanut, <laughs> but name it really Japanese, like P H A E K N U T T. Although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. Okay. 
In any case, I better get all these things cleaned up. I don't know who's going to be coming over to my apartment. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. That didn't mean drink. Yeah, it did. You know what? Both of them are synonymous. <laughs> I, st <laughs> I stepped in to New Smelling Bakery. The New Smelling... You know what? Hold on. One second. You keep reading. I'll be right back. You're We're making this a game. Wait, what? We're making this a game. No, you're my conscience. I can't take over. Keep reading. I'm becoming self-aware. I'm becoming self-aware. I stepped into the new smelling bakery. Get back to your side of the couch. Wait, fuck. But I'm still reading. No, everything exploded. A nuke launched. There we go. Okay, we got hit by a nuke, so nuclear fallout is going to make so, people become half girls. you want the redneck shot glass or the Tokyo Ghoul Weeaboo shot glass? I'm drinking beer, bro. I don't need any liquor. We're making this a game. What? Which shot glass do you want? Shane, I don't do this. Which shot glass do you want? Look, you can drink more than me. We gotta. We just gotta What's relax. What's with this big box, Cashew? Hmm, what's with this big box? I'm using both shot glasses then. In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there was two of them. Fragile, delicate, absolutely this side up. If thrown, your company might be in trouble. The warnings were going overboard and they were getting annoying. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. You take it back over his conscience, I can't trust you alone. Why not? Is it because I speak like I had a stroke? First off, there are boxes that look like they came from my house. If these were the, uh, for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags from the moving company either. All there were, all there was, were those warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the... Uh... This box just sneezed at me. I'm gonna need to talk to UPS and tell them that they did it wrong. I'm gonna need to send this back. Are there air holes in the box? Yep, they're on the sides. Oh, I can see it now, okay. Well, at least they were able to breathe in it. The box is giving you dots. I see you returning them. What is this? I smell smoke. What's this box doing here? So as these cat girls just naked snaked into my apartment, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to go, Oh no! What am I going to do? Oh, it's just a cat, huh? A troublesome cat? Jeez! Who would mail me a cat? Oh, thank God! The boxes have voices, Snake. You don't have to talk for them. I'm sorry, Shinzer. Wait. You autistic bastard. But I thought they were traps. Are we... I thought we were playing a game about traps. <sighs> it's a box of chocolates. Like that fool me. What are you doing, chocolate? It's chocolate. Chocolate! Or chocolate. Hello there, chocolate. I've, I, I've never fucking seen you in my life. I, I've, I'm, I'm being serious, I've never fucking seen you in my life. Whatever, it's not important. Why did someone, why did someone send you in a fucking box? What is vibrating? Jesus! It's not, it's not important. Get back over here and cuddle on the couch! It's not important. Shh, shh, shut up, it's not on Tumblr yet. Don't start it. Alright, I'm following you. Alright, they called you fat. That's because you eat so much goddamn sweets, you little fatty. 
I'm, I'm impressed you can pronounce the word fuming. Why the fuck did you get into the box? What's in the box? Well, I mean, you know, for all the possessions I have, human ownership is actually pretty good. What? I mean, considering the black market is illegal, it's pretty nice to actually own something that's illegal. She's ignoring you because what you said is possibly illegal in multiple countries. It doesn't mean she won't still suck my dick. She does puff her cheeks out. See? She's just playing hard to get now. You could say that she was always happy-go-lucky. <laughs> or rather, she preoccupied herself with what was in front of her. Or only with what was in front of her. Well, I guess that was how you described chocolate. Chocolate. Well, I mean, I was getting ready to move. I, I did wonder why I didn't see you. Oh, fuck, the second one. That's not even a sneeze. I don't even know what that noise is. Ah, chi. It sounds like the the noise you make um, when your teeth are glued together. Wait a minute. There are two of them? And suddenly, I had two cat girls in my house. Oh no! What am I ever gonna do? I'm so happy. You've lost the right to your hat. I don't need a hat. They can't see me. They probably don't want to see me. Why would you want to look at two grown men who are depressed when you could just look at cute cat girls? I am a cute cat girl. Why is Vanilla here too? That's not the question I want to know. I have a lot of question. Like, what? I have a lot of question. Yeah, I have a lot of a plural of a, a question. That's questions. Yeah, and... What? How'd you say that word? How do you pronounce it? Why are they half human cat? How do I know them and why are they here? Because you're also fat, Vanilla. These fucking two fat asses. I hope they don't eat a lot. Oh no, the food bill's gonna skyrocket. Oh, again, huh? Wait a minute, you're telling me this has been the first time? This happened before? Man, you guys get insulted by moving company guys a lot for how fat you are. Man, we've had problems with FedEx, UPS, Google. <laughs> In any case, chocolate, vanilla. Get the fuck out of there. I forgot how awful the main character is at first. Well, of course, he's a cynic. I was in my wit's end with the large boxes that had suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chocolate and Vanilla got out of their boxes. I wasn't sure if I wanted to kill them or to fuck them. Why is no one picking up the phone? Why is that the sound of... Why is it the dial tone for a phone? I have an Obama phone, okay? Don't judge me. I'm about to lose it. Just what is Singapore doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that Chocolate and Vanilla would, could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost like humans. They can understand words and can talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. <laughs> After all, cat girls and had ears and tails just like cats do. Oh, it's you don't fucking say! So even though like 99% of their body is human, because they have ears and tails, it makes them closer to cats. That's logical. You don't fucking say! Hey, I have a big question. So, like, say you're a movie company, and you come into a house, and, you know, usually when you have a movie company, and I should know, because I've done this like five different times in the same year, you pack up all your shit, and then once all the stuff is in boxes, they help you put it into a truck to move somewhere. So, what fucking person got confused and accidentally boxed living beings into a box? Like, first off, it doesn't even matter that they were cat girls. Would you fucking do that with a pet cat? You'd go, oh, hey, look, the pet cat. 
Better fucking drop it in this box with two millimeter holes in it and then drive it off. All right, look. It was a dark time in my life. And I honestly wasn't that coherent most of the time. (laughs) And what I may or may not have shoved into boxes and put under the back of a truck is none of you or the government's business. You think that? They were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls, Shinzo. And I shoved them in boxes. Was that during your time you had a Patreon account? These days, cat girls fit into society. (laughs) As pets and families are partners to humans. Wait. So slaves? No. They're either... Pets with no rights, or they're lovers. There's no in-between. That just sounds like slavery, but with extra steps. No, 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 no. This is different. It's totally different. Do they have a choice to be partners to humans? Is a moto really loves to dote on cat girls? Think about it. A dude could be like, oh, you don't want to be with me? Well, you better come with me to pause. No one's going to want you. You're seven years old. It's time to put you down. Looks not funny. A veterinarian would just fucking put a syringe to that bitch. She's too old. Looks not funny. You leave Mr. Kitty alone. I don't want to date a cat girl because after a year she'd be in her menopause stage. (laughs) (laughs) My little sister really loves... So our family has six, including chocolate and vanilla. In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Because they're retarded. And they don't know how beds work. That's fucking racist. Mailing living things to the post office would be impossible for one thing. Uh, probably illegal too. I haven't tried, but... There's no way my parents would have helped with this, either. After all, they spent a lot of money on shots. Thus, I could only guess that this was somehow Shigari's doing. Shigari. Singapore. Shigari. Singapore. Same fucking difference. Both have no rights. I see. So Singapore fucking was the reason behind this all along, but what's her plot? Why the fuck would she want to mail me two human beings? Is my sister trying to fuck me too? She, she yawned at me. It's a, it's a mu- very specific fetish. Mew bet, wait, mu, mu betting? Not, not new betting? Uh, uh, wait, I didn't write it, they did. Oh. Dumbass. Do I need to run over your computer again? So, so they're not real people, they're slaves, so is it okay to hit them? We're getting way too dark with this Let's Play. We might want to continue before the domestic violence in me starts breaking out. Alright, we gotta, oh we gotta decide right now who's best girl, because already I'm not liking either, either of them. I like Chocola, leave me alone. One has, um, ADHD, and the other, um, has psychopathic- Shinzo, you know you creepily are way too into Kudere's. Wait, is it Shinzo, or is it Shinzer, like a- Who cares? I mean, you know, one just kind of sounds like an Australian moving company, which, you know what? This might- It's pronounced Shinzo, but I'm gonna call it Shinzer, because I don't care about you or your feelings. This might be my fault why this happened. You want to do it to vanilla, I want to do it to Chocola, because I kind of like slightly ditzy girls in these kind of games. I don't want to do it to either. Don't lie to me. Vanilla looks... 12. Exactly! When has that ever stopped you? You're right, let's continue. It's bigger than it looks. It's bi- It's bigger than it looks. It's bigger. You need to. You need to keep going. No, no, no! I didn't fucking say you could walk through my house. No, oh, no, they found it. They found my bed. No, this is my fucking house. They're trying to snuggle in my bed. No, no! You go to the pantry where you belong. I put a fucking toddler gate there so you can't leave either. What if that worked? It would! They wouldn't know how to work it because they're retarded as fuck. I... I didn't think that would work. They'd just be really confused. But snuggling is acknowledged, though. (laughs) 
You, okay, Vanilla is pretty adorable too. These two D characters seem way too self aware. It's almost like they know what's going on. Get the fuck out of there! I put the child gate for a reason. There is a reason I bought that child gate before I even knew I was getting two boxes that sneeze at me. Backwoods plastered the screen with child gates. Backwoods. His his internet name is well. Actually, I don't know. He's got so many internet names. What? The Boonies. I'm calling, I'm calling him Bert. His name is Bert now. I'm just going to call him Bert. 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 And Ernie! Bert. Bert. Without any ill intentions, the two cat girls were off and running. I have a feeling that this plot is going to be very well in depth. It's going to make me question things more than Dimension W. You know what? That's a good stopping point. <laughs> what are you talking about? We still gotta go. Well, the bakery did have linen corners on the second floor. See? See? This I'm trying to let, not make the episode an hour long, but whatever. The depth is really... Whatever! The depth is really deep. Fuck it! We're doing it live! It has a second floor. I need to find out what's on so the second floor. So I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. No, I wasn't worried at all. Of course, they aren't young cat girls anymore either. Don't worry, Nick, they're legal. No one would ever think ill of me for having two girls. So I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well... I mean... I looked up an address in my phone's address book. Minadookie residence. Minadookie residence. I mean, I already left Singapore a message, so... You know, she better fucking call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I have way too much faith in my sister. I don't trust my sister for shit. I had shit. moved out without saying anything, like an ass. Wait, then how did they know to pack the cat girls? Maybe he pa- What the fuck? There's so many mysteries. Something's not right here. I'm, I might be putting on a tinfoil hat, but something just doesn't match up. Maybe the parents. Maybe the parents. Maybe the sister. Maybe Grandma had a plan. That's it. No, I'm ending this episode now. No, well, no. Wait. No. I gotta find out what happens. You'll find out next time. Literally. But the only thing that we found out. I have to beat you. We're ending the video. He went from his front door to the living room. We haven't gotten that far at all. Yes, but they're already snuggling in his bed. The only thing that we know is that there, there are two... Two cat girls named after fucking sweets, and uh, they both have mental illnesses. And we know that this guy pretends to have a problem with it, but he's not gonna have a problem with fucking them. That's what this visual novel is. Well, guys, it was nice seeing you all again. Uh, I'm Tokusa Tanaki, and this is Shinzer the idiot. This this is gonna be my first and last podcast. I'm not showing up again. You were already in the first podcast when I got really drunk and insulted an entire fan base. That wasn't a podcast. That's what, that was a let's play of a visual novel.